In this video, we're going to talk about the best low voltage snips according to the Low Voltage Nation Facebook group. If you like these videos and you get some value out of them, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, smash that like button. Hi, I'm Blake, founder of Low Voltage Nation, where we help other people carve out a fulfilling career path in low voltage and technology. If you wanna learn about getting a solid pair of snips, or if you're just getting into the field and wanna know what's best, check this video out. All right, let's go. So I ran a poll in the Low Voltage Nation Facebook group, got some great responses. One in particular just completely blew it out of the water, a landslide. Uh, also got some funny responses like teeth, apprentice, I don't know, I mean, you guys are, you guys are hilarious. But uh, I love the Low Voltage Nation Facebook group. Anyway, so let's start at number four. We'll jump right into it. All right, so Southwire actually uh, is at number four. I actually learned on these. They have a spring load action. These get kind of dull quicker, quickly qu compared to the other ones. So just keep that in mind. But the leverage on this bad boy with this handle, you see you can really, really um, get a lot of leverage and cut some thicker cables. So these are south wire at number four. Number three, and it was a close one between the number two spot, is Fluke. So I've never used the Fluke ones, but they have really good leverage. I know a lot of people that use them and swear by them. They also have like, very similar to uh, these, they have the kind of the rubber coating on them as well. So Fluke came in at number three with 17 votes. At number two are Knipix. So that's how you pronounce it. You gotta watch this video from, I think his name is Garnet Tools or Garnet Tools. Uh, but check out this guy's YouTube video on how to pronounce it, it's hilarious. Uh, anyway, so at number two, uh, these uh, came in and I love the, the Knifix. So uh, just cutting some of these um, Cat6 cables is quite enjoyable. Also, here's some Cat6A shielded. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're not supposed to do that, but you can quickly score it and then break it and then it doesn't even touch the, um, the shielding. But uh, you're supposed to use a ringing tool. Anyway, so these came in at second place with, I think it was 20 votes, but I think these are my new favorite snips. So Knipix. All right, at number one, which is probably no surprise, is the tried and true. Klein tools. This came at 117 votes. Uh, these are the ones that I've been using for a while. They work well. Uh, actually, I tried out the old cutting a coin trick and that worked too. So that's kind of impressive. So looking at uh, doing Cat 6A shielded, um, cuts it pretty well and then Again, scoring the jacket. I know a lot of people are, oh, you're not supposed to do that. But anyway, so that uh, definitely works for Cat 6A shielded. So this is uh, the Klein Tools tried and true. Get the stainless steel version too. I think I don't think these are the stainless steel ones, but make sure they're stainless steel. These things last for a long time. Uh, but these came in at number one. However. I just don't think, and somebody said, I think it was Preston in the group, he said, I think most people don't know about Knipic, Knipix, and that's why they go with Klein tools. But uh, these are the standard right now, but these are kind of up and coming. So check out Knipix. Uh, and also, you know, these are just, you know, good, solid, low profile, kind of slender, nice fit in the palm of your hand. But people say that they kind of like hurt their hands after a while. And that is true. It depends on the size of your hand, but it does kind of start pinching it after a while. Anyway, so check out either Knipix or Klein or get both. So I hope you learned something today and can make a decision on which snips to get if you're just starting out, or maybe you're going to switch to Knipix from Klein. Also, if you want to join our low voltage community, we have an exclusive community at join.lowvoltagenation.com. We've got security integrators, structure cabling technicians, business owners, manufacturers, distributors, suppliers, and we're all in one big healthy community where we're helping each other be successful in the field or if you're starting your business, go to join.lowvoltagenation.com. We hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.